He's grabbed onto my leg so he doesn't fall. And he keeps sticking his rear end out and hitting his brother. And they wonder why they're always getting hurt. <laughs> Careful there, careful there, not into the cabinets. Are you going to no, go to that side of me? Alright, fine, grab the leg. <laughs> then he's down. <laughs> Can I believe how wild they are? <laughs> but at least they take... At least they take turns nicely. It's a hard time getting over you. They have been cooped up far too long this morning. It's actually not that late anyway. But it is nice outside, and we are going to go and run and run and run. And hopefully when we get back from running, they won't have this kind of energy and wildness in them anymore. And they'll just kind of relax. This is actually pretty cool what he built this morning. He had the railroad tracks. He used the curved pieces over here in the office area. And we got the long train, and then the rest is just nothing but straight track. Until you get to the very end, when you ran out of straight track. I hate the fact that we have to pick it up, because if we leave the dog in the house, she will eat it. Daddy, we add more. Is this all Yeah, we're going to put it all in there now. We have to put it all away. you got to build it when you get back. That's part of the fun. I know, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to run the risk of the dog messing up any of the pieces. Your head hurts, doesn't it? <laughs> he didn't learn, did he? I guess he did learn. He was sticking his head in the bucket and Caden's cleaning up and he nailed him on the back of the head. At least they're kind of working together now. Thank you so much, Caden. You're doing great. We are finally outside, running loose, although it's only in the cul-de-sac for right now. I don't know how I'm going to be able to get them on a walk because once we go outside the cul-de-sac, they don't want to do anything else. But anyhow, I don't care. They're running, fresh air, sunlight, all that good stuff. So we'll be out here until it's time to go back for lunch or if they get hungry before then. All right, go run, guys. Show me that speed. Show me that speed. Go for it, Caden. Catch up, catch up. All right, just want to practice your uphill walking, climbing. All right, run back. Hurry up. Is that all you got? Is that the fastest you can run? There you go. That's better. The house to grab some big pine cones. Then we're gonna do some more pine cone soccer or whatever else we can do. Oh, nice kick. Let's get a couple more. There we go. Let's bring a couple down there. Go for it, Caden. Go for it. I'm right here with you. Go for it. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Kick it. Don't throw it. Kick it. All right. You're going to be the goalie. Good kick, bud. Oh, Colton already got his in the driveway. He beat us. Well, we got halfway before you did. All right, here we go. Gonna get it to Colton. Got it to Colton. Kick it, Caden. Kick it. Nice kick. All right. Wow. Right to me, bud. Good kick. She actually started using actual soccer balls. Yeah, right in front of the goal. You're tired? Oh, you wore out easily today. We did play pinecone soccer for a good 45 minutes non-stop. Back and forth, back and forth. It's not so bad for me because I'm just walking it, but Colton has to jog or run it because his legs are shorter 
and he's still working on kicking, although pine cones are a little hard to aim which way you want them to go, unlike a round ball that'll just roll the way you kick it. But either way, we had a lot of fun, got some of that energy out, hopefully warm out a little bit, so we're going to go back, have some food, and then probably come right back out again. As per Colton's request, he wanted to jump for the balloon, so all I did was just cut the string. Here, let me move it back over here for you, bud. It's too high. Cut the string so that he can practice his jumping. You can reach it. You can get it. There you go. See? Look at that. You can do the same for Cadence. It's just slightly out of reach if he puts his hand straight above his head. Yeah, I'm watching. And jump! Uh oh. Let me up here. Careful when you do that one. Okay. Let's do class of all more time. Fish sticks for Caden. Popcorn shrimp for Colton. This should give them plenty of energy so we can run right back outside and have some more fun. Colton refuses to come and eat as long as his balloon is floating at the ceiling. He's determined. <laughs> you hit it. Now can you grab it? Oh, you touched it! Oh, it's just teasing him because he can touch it. He knows he can get it. <laughs> they made a lovely bridge of all the vehicles to go all the way around the long way from couch to couch. And Colton is going to demonstrate his balance and expertise at this as he walks across the bridge without falling into the water. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, come on, get to the other couch. Okay. Caden, you're in the way, bud. Guess not. But that was close, wasn't it? Yeah. And this is the easy part of the bridge. Oh, look at that. Way to go. Give me a five. We have been invited over to Nanny and Papa's for a fire and dinner. Caden fell asleep, so we're going to wake him up. We can go over there for dinner and a fire. Yeah, come on, it'll be fun. Boys are playing. Oh, there's some water in the kitchen. Yeah. But we're over here at Nanny and Papa's. Papa's uh, getting the fire ready to light. Dinner's on the in the oven, and we're going to have a good time. We're just waiting for Nanny to come home. Yeah, Nanny should be back any moment now. Yeah, the cat doesn't quite lick your face like Sadie does. That's why you don't mind them. You sit nice and still. The cat could sit on your lap. We got the fire going now. Hey, gravity works again. Nope, we're here first. Ready, Caden? Here he comes. There you go. Such a pretty fire. Perfect night for it. No wind, no clouds. Not too chilly, though. Boys are outside playing. Papa's redone his deck lights now so they can see what they're doing. It's just very relaxing out here. Hey, you didn't fall this time. Thanks for watching, Rice Lab. I'll see you later.